Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, you're with the Joker here today in a very different format. I'm going to have a crack at this commentary stuff, so let's see how this goes. But we are here today for round 3 AOR Oceania F2 series here in Monza. Famous Monza circuit, which is uh, now 95 years old, it's uh, the pinnacle of straight line speed and just out and out power. This this circuit, but it's a uh, famous parabolic on this 5.7 kilometer circuit. So watching Owens here, Owens and Roscoe have each got a pole each in this series. So who's going to have the speed today? We shall find out. So uh, Owens starts his first flying lap through the first chicane, through the Curva Grande. Up to the second chicane. Oh, a little, little break block up there. That's okay. Through the first Lesno. Very nice. That was beautiful through the second Lesmo, used all the road on both sides. Maximum exit speed. Into Ascari. Probably the easiest place on the track to run wide or cut the corner. No, it does it beautifully through there. Down the back straight towards Parabolica. Breaking as late as he can. That's about the 50 meter board I reckon. Swing it through, use all the road. Very nice, that was near perfect through there. What's he gonna run here? I'll just bring my uh, telemetry back up. And we got a 121.4, Preet's 121.49. Very close, very close. DT's on a 121.6 Zombie Honda 121.8 Lockheed 122.1 Spagball comes through the Parabolica What's he gonna have for us? 123.1 for Spagball There's Kai with my teammate flying solo today how I wish I could be out there but anyway uh, so the story goes is my wheel my faithful wheel which I've had for probably four or five years oh Kai was a big oversteer moment coming out of the first chicane my faithful wheel which is only just a little Logitech uh, I've had it for about yeah, four or five years uh, has stopped working. I I had ordered a a new wheel. Um, it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, so yeah, my old wheel had no downshift and very little brake pedal as well. The brake pedal had just worn out. So I had to sit this one out. I did try during the week to do a bit of practice with the pad. I've never used the pad uh, and it looked like my seven-year-old daughter trying to race. It was just horrible. Look, just couldn't do it. So I said to the guys that I put something like this together for everyone and uh, hopefully it turns out alright. Now we've got a few new or guests I'm not sure I didn't really pay too much attention to the new guys uh, what what the go with was them what the go with was oh my god I'll get it out in a minute what the go with them is so Ruthentic Bird I'm, I've, I've seen him around the traps uh, I'm not sure if he's actually joined this league or if he's a guest today uh, but Zadona 22 and Zombie Hunter um, have joined for Williams uh, I'm pretty sure and we've also got Lockie and Schultze and 
hyperduce. I was just trying to remember his uh, his gamer tag there, hyperduce. So many many new ones here for today. They got on board now for R8, the uh, fellow from Malaysia in the Renault as he goes through Ascari. Now as I was talking before we saw a authentic bird he was he looked like he was on a flyer but uh, he also looked like he just may have been half a tie width wide uh, both on the entry and exit to Ascari and I reckon he, he must have aborted it because he uh, pulled into the pits after that. She got on board now with that laggy person is provisional pole at the moment at 121.2. It's clear by two and a two one and a half tenths over Owens. A bit of an overstep moment, but that's all right. Through the first Lesmo, uses it all the road there. And the Astro Turf, very nice through the second Lesmo, down the back straight now, DRS wide open. Approaching the Scari, 330 kilometers an hour. DJR's had enough, he's parked it up. Down here, approaching Parabolica. Has he got anything left in the tank? Is he going to go faster? Owens now, 121 dead. And that laggy person can't improve when he's 121 too. As we look like we've got both Mercedes off at the first chicane and Owens has parked it up, so has DT. Here comes Kai West for his flying lap. Again, it's not too often you see a McLaren with a Honda engine in the back of it pushing 340. But I like what Kai West does there. He just puts the left hand wheel on that bit of Astro Turf to just open the corner just ever so slightly. Much more stable on the exit of first, uh, first chicane there through the Curva Grande, approaching 330 kilometers an hour here. I don't know what happened there, I don't know if that was just a bit of a hiccup in the sound. Oh, very nicely, very nicely cuts that first chicane corner. And Zombie Hunter's had enough, he's parked it up. Right, second Lesmo, down the back straight. What's Kai was got? Schultz, you gonna get out the way? And old, oh, oh, that was a Toro Rosso of, uh, not sure who that one was, but it's just on the racing line, and it just caught Kai West out, it just, and he's backed out of it. That's a shame. But anyway, so there we go, so Owens, Laggy, Zadona, top three. I do believe it was uh, about uh, one one second dot covered the top ten. And DJ, uh, sorry, Shorty did not actually set a time. And it's race day. Just wait for everyone to set their strategies and we'll be ready to go. Five lights out. Owens and Laggy Person on the front row. Who's going to get away first? And lights are out, but no one's moving. But oh dear God, it's an absolute shit fight. 
That was a horrible start from a lot of people. Arms just got away clearly, so has the donor and DT. Owens has bolted already. There was chaos at the back of the field between that. There was a couple of Ferraris involved, Toro Rosso involved. All sorted themselves out now. There's Mitchie's. He must have copped it big. Owens through second Lesmo. Back straight. Owens from Zadona, from DT, from Laggy Person, from DJR and Preet. DT's got a sniff on uh, Zadona here, coming through with Scari. Someone ran wide there, I think that was DJR, ran a little bit wide there on the exit. First time round. Yeah, Ross goes back in seventh. I don't think he qualified that low. He was definitely tangled up in the in that start line mess. As Kaiwas and that'll be Lockie. Kaiwas and Lockie are in the pit lane already. Nicely done by Owens on the start there. From from my point of view, the lights went out and literally no one moved. Uh, must have been some epic lag from most people there because they did not move at all. Oh, R8 just run a bit wide there. Sorry, that wasn't R8. That was Preet and the Renault. Awesome shot that is, lovely shot, high energy shot that one. Spagball's out, what's happened to Spagball? Let's see if I can find him. Oh my god, Spagball is hidden behind the light tower there, but holy, wow, he's ripped the front end of that car off. Something wicked, I don't know what happened there. Exit of Parabolica. He's obviously got it all crossed up and couldn't catch it. I know how that feels. I did the same thing last week at Spa, just on my own. You can see Spagball on the right hand side there. Yeah, that's when you do it all on your own, that's the worst. And oh, we got a Williams in the wall. Exit of Ascari. Zadonis hit the wall hard. And he's gonna have to. Get Jesus, don't do that. He's try, is, he try, is he trying to get out of the way or is he lagging? I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. Sorry. They, I don't, I don't actually know if it is a, a he or she. My apologies. But oh, I'm, nice, nice drifting there, well done. He's going to have to come in, he's missing half his front wing. Alright, Zadona's in the pit. The tyres is he going on to? Here's our teammate Kaiwas, all on his lonesome today. He's all on his lonesome as well. He's got 26 seconds in front, and oh well, Zadona's just come out behind him, but he did have a fair gap behind him as well. Car was pitted at the end of lap one for the medium, so he's going to go to the end, and he won't have to stop again. Looks like Lockie's done the same thing and DT, they've all gone on the mediums. Here's Hyperduce, another one of the new ones to this uh, to this league. He's got R8, half a second in front of him. Let's see what they can do to close him down. So 
That laggy person has got past DJR at the front. It's pretty even at the front. Schultze, Hyperjuice, R8. Let's see what these guys are going to do. They come through Parabolica here. Slingshot themselves around. Someone's in the pit lane there. Missed who that was. That was oh, us. Yeah, missed who that was. R8's right, got to run on Hyperjuice here. He's going to pull to the inside. Is he going to make it stick? He's up the inside. They give each other space. The crossover. Looks like R8's got him. They're still going at it. Wheel to wheel back there. on Hyperjuice is behind the slipstream oh nice, nice corner there from Schultze that was brilliant up here with the zombie hunter now he's chasing down authentic bird in the Toro Rosso that's an awesome picture into Ascari here Is he within a second? He is within a second. Oh, he's run a bit wide. As long as he's within a second, the DRS activation zone, uh, the detection zone, sorry, is just that white line right there. So he should have DRS, and oh, he's, no, he's run wide, he's lost it. R8's in the pit now. What tyre is he going to go on to? He's going to be. Uh, he's going to go on the softs, I reckon. Authentic Bird is lost half a second to. Uh, sorry. Zombie Hunter's lost half a second to Authentic Bird that last lap with those couple of mistakes. So Authentic Bird's got himself out of DRS. No one's blinked at the front there. Owens, Laggy, DJR, Roscoe. Roscoe's some eight seconds behind DJR. He's going to have to close him down. There's your top four right there. I'd be really interested to know how the guys that changed to soft tyres and ran to the end, how those tyres were the last five or so laps. My thoughts that they would be absolutely shot, but it depends on how you look after them. But uh, I would have thought, oh, Roscoe's a big lock up in the turn one there. I would have thought the softs just wouldn't have last. Oh, Roscoe lights it up as well coming out. Pushing hard. Oh, a little pinch front left there. There's DJR. Through second Lesmo. He's he's catching that laggy person by the looks of it. Ever so slightly. Got some, got some decent pace, uh, DJR. He's made that Force India very slippery in a slip in a straight line. Oh, I saw in the background there one of the tour. Oh, yeah, I saw in the background. Uh, one of the toy rosters went straight on into the wall and there's Lockie, he's missing the front end of his car. That is just a disaster. My goodness.
cross back now to Owens. Owens is pitting. Nice shot. Now it looks like he put on softs there, but it was actually mediums. I don't know why why the game the game kept switching from yellow stripe to white stripe, but he did actually in fact put the medium stripes on. Owens comes back out in fourth. He's got Schultze behind him. The fairway. Roscoe. Roscoe's pitted as well now. He's on the softs. Locks up into turn one. And lights it up again. He just, I don't know, he just couldn't make that back end stick on the exit there. Saw him a few times light it up. There's Hyperjuice. Nice exit of the second chicane there. Hyperjuice and Schultz here are going to have a bit of a battle here. Let's see how close they can get. Schultz here through Ascari. Nice and cleanly done. Followed by Hyperjuice. Laggy person here up front, DJR right behind him. Oh, Zombie Hunter's got a penalty speeding. Dear of me. Roscoe sets the fastest lap there, 124.0. Nicely done. Hyperjuice here, Roscoe's going to be all over the back of him in a minute. He's closed him down. Nice, oh, oh, that would have unsettled the car a bit, surely. Roscoe's even closer now, he's right on his gearbox here. Authentic Bird, R8, Zombie Hunter and Kai was here in a bit of a battle. Oh, Zombie Hunter runs a bit wide, gets onto the gravel. Nice. R8 is looking very racy here against Authentic Bird. Oh no he doesn't, he's cut the corner megaly and he's lost a heap of places there, he's lost two. Zombie Hunters right behind Raw Authentic Bird here. It's on here. It's going to happen into turn one. Pulls out of slipstream, back into the slipstream. Nut is side by side. They're going to go wheel to wheel into turn one. How's this going to end up? Kai, which is just sitting pretty. It, oh my lord. They've both just done it themselves. That was all themselves. They both just lit it up and the back ends got away from both of them. That was amazing. Crazy. Kaiwas has gone up two spots in the space of half a lap. Nicely done. Nice and cleanly there. Well done. Approaching Parabolica. Slingshot yourself around. Down the main straight here. It's like Zombie Hunter and Mitchy. And DT having a bit of a battle back there, judging by the proximity arrows. They're all within a second and a half or so of each other. Kai was just unsettled the car on those yellow, uh, orange sausage curves. Cross now to Preet. Preet's all on his own. He's got 15 seconds in front of him, he's got 20 seconds behind him. He's just all on his own. It's 
So DJR and Schultze are at it up front now. Oh, Preet runs very wide through Parabolica there. That's going to hurt his top end speed at the end. Is Hyperjuice into turn one. Oh, missed it completely. Just outbraked himself and went straight on. That's, cost, that's actually cost him about four seconds or so because. Preach now 16 seconds behind. Through Lesmo 1. Zadona's got a, a uh, time penalty. There's Preet in the background there, just coming around second Lesmo. You've got DJR, Schultze, and Hyperjuice right here. And just in the background, just back there is Preet. Get to the halfway mark. It's about 50-50 who's on softs and mediums. I, me personally, I would have gone on the medium. I don't think, especially if, you know, Kai was pitted on lap one end of lap one. I just don't think the softs would have lasted a full race essentially. Um, maybe they did. Um, for some people I would have loved to have known how their tyres were. He's got on board now with DJR. He's chasing down Roscoe. He's got 2.1 seconds. DJR's had some luck this week. He uh, hasn't been taken out or got tangled up in anything. And now uh, he's looking very racy. Here's Roscoe. These, these top four guys, are, they're the, definitely the benchmark. They're the guys to beat. They've been up there every race we've had so far. They're the ones to beat. laggy person 1.5 seconds behind Owens now he's how's he gonna close him down Roscoe now sets the fastest lap at 123.9 laggy person looks very racy here he has got a softer compound tire against Owens so naturally he's gonna be quicker let's just see how Owens can hold him off hyperjuice in the pits here he's going on to the super soft Here coming through the Curva Grande. He's all on his own too, really. He's got mm, six seconds in front and three or so, three or four seconds behind him. Zombie Hunter and Hyperjuice are at it. Hyperjuice just disconnected, I think. Has. He's gone. Uh, he's gone transparent. He's disconnected. That's a bummer. All right, DT. Authentic bird passing through Parabolica. Lock up there for authentic bird. Here's 
actually in danger of being lapped by these guys very shortly. That laggy person's got the gap down to just over a second and that's certainly not going to help Owens lighting it up out of turn one there. Let's just stay with these guys for a bit. Well, uh, this is very interesting. But uh, although Owens looks like he's got a yellow stripe tire on, it's actually the mediums. I don't know why it was showing that. He, it was the mediums that he put on. on the front it's just oh Mitchie's just set the fastest lap 123.1 very nice laggy version is looking very quick here there's Preet and Zadona coming out of Turn one and Schultz here, where has he gone? He's, oh dear, that's Exeter Parabolica again and he's lost the front end of the car as well, same as Spagbol, though Spagbol was a bit further on the road. That's, oh there he is, just on the left there, yeah he's just messed it up coming out of Parabolica. Spagbol ended up a bit further up the road but uh, oh, that's a shame, another one out. Back to the front. Laggy person is right behind, he's 0.3 behind him. He's about three car lengths. He's got to run here, he's got to run, he's got to run. They're going to go wheel to wheel into Ascari. Owens covers the inside. Laggy's going up the outside, but he's got to back it out. He'll get a run here, get a run, get a run, get a run, stick with him. It's on here. This is on for everything. Stick with him. Slingshot him. And it'll be into turn one, I reckon. He'll have another crack. Slingshot. Stick with him right behind him. Pulls out of the slipstream. They go side by side into turn one. They're going to wheel to wheel. Oh, they give each other space. Owens comes back for the crossover. This isn't finished yet, this is on. Continue it, wheel to wheel through the Curva Grande. Owens is on the outside, but he's going to have the inside run for the second chicane here. Who's going? Someone has to yield. And Owens backs out of it, it was just too compromised going into that second chicane there. But look at Roscoe, Roscoe's closed him down as well, he's now only 1.7 seconds behind. Zombie Hunter now, the fastest lap, I just missed the time though. Nice one. I'm bored here with Kaiwas, who is still on his own. He's got 12 seconds in front of him and 7 seconds behind him. All on his own. No pressure. A lot of warnings been dished out now as we get to this later stage of the race. <clears throat> Kairos is a uh, driving style or, or, or just the way he does it, he puts that, that left wheel just on that bit of AstroTurf, the entry to turn one, just to open the corner a bit. I like that. Oh dear god, the donor's had a spin, second chicane, and he's missing half his front wing again.
Oh, and he's run wide. He's lost all the front aero on the car. It just has to. Well, being this late in the race, I don't know if if I'd pit, if I can put up with that for two laps or take the 30 odd seconds. No, I'd stay out. 30 seconds to change the pit lane and change the front wing. No, stay out. Righto. Second last lap. Coming into Parabolica. About to cross the line for the last lap. Laggy person, Owens, Roscoe, and that's uh, Zadona. Behind them all, he is a lap down. I believe he's a lap down. And he's just desyncing everywhere. He's gone up the inside of Roscoe, I just saw that in the background. Oh my goodness, Roscoe's upside down. If that was Zadona that caused that, he will not be very happy at all, especially him being a lap down, Zadona. That was just silly. That's put DJR up onto the podium, essentially. This is the last lap. Roscoe would be furious at that. DJR's luck has definitely changed this week. Let's hope he can keep it up. Owens is going to get his third consecutive podium. Laggy. Unless he messes up the uh, Parabolica, he's going to get his first win in this league. And Zadona's still there. Round Parabolica. The laggy person comes across the line for the win. That's an awesome race. So those, those two were going out at the entire race. Roscoe comes across fourth. Breit in 5th, Kaiwas, my man in 6th, and oh dear god, what was all that about Pre? DT in 8th, Hyperjuice in ninth, and Zombie Hunter rounds out the top 10, Authentic Bird and Zadona 11th and 12th. <sighs> what an epic race at the front, that was, uh, that was intense by the looks of it. Awesome race by uh, that laggy person and Owens. DJR was with him all the, all the way as well. Oh my god, that's for authentic bird coming out of Parabolica. What's that? That corner's caught everyone out today. That's insane. But um, there's a the podium. And yeah. Well done to Laggy Person, Owens and DJR. Bad, bad, bad luck for Rothko. And awesome result for Kiowas. That's that's brilliant. Anyways, we will hopefully be back racing next weekend. And we'll catch us then.